Hello there, I would like to introduce you to the crossfade feature within Samvibe. The term crossfade is also sometimes used separately as cross and fade, with cross referring to the point where the fade out and fade in of the two tracks meet or cross, whilst fade simply refers to the fade out or fade in of a track which might not necessarily cross. All of these terms are used throughout this tutorial. Samvibe crossfading is only available from within the web user interface at samcloud.spatial.com and can be configured globally for all tracks, on a track by track basis, or as a mix of both with the track specific settings overriding the global settings. To set the global options, we select the settings tab and then audio settings. The first option we have is the ability to trim any leading or trailing silence. The default level is minus 50 decibels, but this can be adjusted from between minus 10 and minus 60 decibels for both the leading and trailing silence. Once set, anything below this level will be considered silence and removed or trimmed. The cross, fade in and fade out are each independent and we can select to use either or all of these settings to give us the sound we like. Selecting cross allows us to set the maximum cross duration from between 1 and 10 seconds and also allows us to adjust possibly the most important setting which is the level or volume at which the crossfade intersects. This can be set to between minus 10 and minus 60 decibels. By selecting either the fade out or fade in we can set the duration from between 0.1 and 10 seconds as well as the curve type. We can select from either the linear sinusoidal, logarithmic or exponential curves which are available. The final option allows us to set the content duration in seconds for tracks which we do not want to fade. This can be set to any length between 1 and 999 seconds and could be used to prevent the crossfading of short tracks like commercials, station idents and sweepers. As we make changes to these settings, we have a real-time graphical display giving an indication of the effect these changes will have on the cross and fade. Finally, we have the option to save these settings, cancel, which will discard any changes made, or to restore the default settings. With all of these global settings, we should consider settings which suit the majority of the tracks in our library, and then adjust the settings on a track-by-track -track basis for any others. This station plays a variety of music from the 1950s to the modern day, but the majority of tracks in the library might be considered middle of the road, and we have found these settings provide a great sounding crossfade. To adjust the settings for an individual track, simply right click the track, select edit, and audio settings. The primary difference is the ability to precisely adjust the gain or loudness of the track by between plus or minus 6 decibels. This is primarily designed to raise or lower the level of station IDs, sweepers and commercials. We also have the option to trim the silence, not trim the silence or use the default trim settings. We can use cross, use the default cross settings or have no cross and we can disable the fades or apply different settings to both the fade in and fade out. To adjust the fade settings we must first select yes. The reason we have the three options for silence trimming and cross is in case the default global settings for these features are disabled. By selecting yes for either of these options we can implement silence trimming or cross on an individual track using the global settings displayed but which might be disabled. If we wish to use these settings on individual tracks only and not globally then we should configure our preferred global settings before then disabling the global features. Finally, we have the option to save these settings, cancel, which will discard any changes made, or to restore the default settings. 